you beautiful people. Can you tell that I dyed my hair? I think it looks better. It's not so dark. I'm sorry, putting this big cup in your face is that rude. Um, let me tell you guys something. I didn't get a chance to show you this because it came real late yesterday. And I really didn't have time today, but see these reading glasses? Oh my God. I usually have Dollar Tree glasses, right? My husband got these for like $20, six or seven pair of them from Amazon for us. He bought two different strengths and they are such, they look, they just look nice. They're good glasses. And I kept telling him, I put them on, I'm like, oh my God, I can see because those glasses from Dollar Tree are plastic. They're not real glass. And when you put these on, all of a sudden you can see really clear everything. Because I guess these are glass or a better type of plastic or something. I don't know if they're glass, but man, I can see good. And it isn't because of the strength. It's the same strength, 1.75 for reading glasses. I can just see everything really clear. Like, wow. And he tells me the same thing when he puts them on today. Wow, these are really clear. I go, I've been saying that all last night. <laughs> Goofball. I go, don't y'all listen to me? Um, yeah, so, um, anyways, uh, and then he ordered what I told him. I'm so glad. Because remember what I said the other day? Some things are a good deal at Sam's Club and some things aren't. You just, it's, it's, it's like that anywhere, right? They had a deal, and I guess for a name brand, it's a good deal, actually, for name brand batteries. They had Energizer for 40 of them, 40 double A's for $25. But you go on Amazon, and you get their brand of batteries are comparable to Duracell and Energizer. You get 100 batteries for $24, $25. A hundred of them. They came yesterday in nice little three plastic boxes that clip close. I like to actually even keep one of them boxes as a pencil and pen box for my jobs. And I think I'm going to do that. Because that would be nice to do. That's a good idea. If, if it's open. I don't know how it is I have to look at it because he says he wants to keep the boxes but I want to keep one of them there's three boxes if if it don't have slots in it and it it closes it'd be nice to keep my pencils and pens in for work so I always would know where they are it's a thin box so it don't take up much room I'm gonna keep one of them if if it works out for me I'm gonna look at that when I go home but what a I mean what a difference a hundred double a batteries for $25. That's a huge difference. 40 to 100. Huge difference. More than double. What would you say? That's double plus 20%? Because another 40 would be double. Plus you got another 20. Wouldn't that be 20%? Double plus 20? I think. If I'm adding right. I don't know. And then I, 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 I know he's bought me a lot of stuff. And he just bought me all those beautiful frying pans and rugs and everything. But I want one more thing. I always had light up fake candles. The skinny ones that look like kind of Christmas candles on my um, hutch in the family room. And a lot of them broke this year. Just because I use them all the time and I put batteries in and out of them, they broke. So, oh my God, let's try to crack my neck. It's driving me crazy. I think I seen like anywhere from 15 to 20 of them on Amazon for like 20, $25. So that means I could put a couple in my upstairs window, like one or two in each window. I have two windows that face the street. I could put two in her window where the cats are. And I could put a couple in the living room window like two, four, six in the living room and put the rest in the family room. I think that would be so nice. So 
I like candles and windows. I think that's pretty. I think it looks nice. It don't matter if it's summer, winter, or fall. I like how that looks. Always have, always will. So did my mom. My aunt likes that too. So I'm going to try to see if he'll get me those. Well, oh my God, hold on. I try to, I crack my neck, and then when it does crack, it just feels like everything's relieved. I don't know how to describe it. Listen. You can barely hear that, but usually it's so loud, and it just feels like like that. Usually they're loud like that. It's instant relief. I don't know how to describe it, but it just instantly feels good because nutrients go to those joints, and it just feels like, ah, I don't know how to describe that, but it does. I know it looks crazy. My dad used to say, people are going to look at you and think you're nuts. Stop it. He used to get so mad at me when I cracked my neck in public or crack my knuckles. Oh, he was just furious at me. I'm sorry, Dad. 20 years later, I'm still doing it. So anyways, I got all scared. And I'm going to calm down. Because I cut my hours. So if anything, that should look better. I got a renewal. I have health care coverage through the state. Um, like Medicaid, I don't make crap an hour, and I need it because I take one of my medicines are real expensive. I take every month, and I was so upset when I came to work. But my friend makes a dollar more an hour, and the lady works. I work with. She's the one who works a ton of overtime. Her checks probably every week are over a thousand. I don't make nowhere near that. I'm bringing home four hundred a week. And I'm trying to pay all these bills and help people. So I should get it. I don't see why I wouldn't get it. I don't, yeah. So I'm just going to calm down and believe and trust in God. And not get hysterical and just believe. Because if they got it, I should get it. And it shouldn't be no problem. So I'm going to calm down. I get myself too riled up. I, I beat myself up. My whole life I've been like that. I beat myself up over things. I get upset. And I'm like, oh. You know what? And I got to just learn. God's got you. God's got you. He didn't get you this far to turn you away and make you crazy. God's got you. And I got to keep believing that and knowing that. It's just hard. That was my knee. That felt good. It's just hard sometimes in life because we all feel alone. We all feel like like, wow, you know, this is happening to me, but we're all going through stuff. And in the end, it usually does work out. It really does. So I got to believe and have faith in my dear Lord Jesus. He's got me. And, and again, I felt so bad, you guys, for that lady. But she had a great attitude. And I hope she didn't do this. She kept saying, oh, I don't like how my eyelashes look. I'm thinking to myself, that's the least of your worries. But you know, if she wants, if that means a lot to her, good. But don't be, she wanted to go somewhere and get them refixed. And I'm thinking, you should be paying for a hotel room, not worrying about your eyelashes. It's too cold. She goes, oh, I'm hot-blooded. This cover's all right. And when I went back to bring her that soup, she wasn't there. I seen somebody got her a big coffee. I seen somebody got her chicken nuggets. Somebody got her some kind of submarine sandwich deal. And then I brought her that soup, you know, and toilet or paper to blow her nose with. So I'm going to go back tomorrow. Hopefully she's around. I'm going to see if she wants a coffee. I'm going to see if she wants a pop, if she wants a sandwich. If she wants a can of raviolis, uh, what what I can do for her, I will do. I will try my best, guys. I will try my best. I got this week coming up with uh, the training, so wish me luck on that. On Tuesday and Wednesday, who knows what that's going to turn out to be. I hate to go anywhere. Even, you know, this is less money. I just like it here. It's quiet, and I'm used to being here already. I've been here since June, June. September, October, November, December, January, February. I've been here almost nine months pretty soon. That's a long time to be somewhere. And I'm used to it. I know everybody. I'm getting used to stuff. And I want to go nowhere. <laughs> I wish I could just get enough hours to live here, you know, make it here, and I'd stay. Even if it was, you know, less money. 
I just can't be doing 16 hours. That's my problem. If I could have enough hours on my regular days or a day off, whatever, I would stay. But I don't think they'll do that. I don't know. Um, it's so cold in Michigan today. I woke up, it was like a blizzard outside. I couldn't believe it for about a half an hour. Hour, there was snow all over the roads. Everything was really bad. And it cleared all up. Thank you, God. It was a mess. It's going to be nice by Tuesday. It's going to be 52 degrees in Michigan. Yeah. I'm glad for that. I am glad for that. But um, I just wanted to come on here now. I'm going to come back on here after. I'm going to have a story story for you guys after. But I want you to see my hair in the light. It looks better. Can you tell that it's dyed? I would think so. I mean, don't it, doesn't it look better than it was all dark and everything? I mean, it looks more proper, I would hope. I would hope. I love you guys. Like and subscribe. And you're cheering me up. And I'm not going to let that lady get my heart down. I just know that we can do better and help each other. And just do what you can when you... I guess my biggest thing to say to you guys, if you see somebody homeless, treat them like a real person. I said to a lady, hi, my name's Lisa. She told me her name's Ashley, and I just wish the best for you. I don't have nothing really much to give her anyways, but I'm just, I want her to know she's cared about, you know? That they're real people. That's all that we should be conveying, that they're real people. And help when we can, as much as we can, but don't overlook anybody that's what I'm saying. I love you. Like and subscribe. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me to get to a million people, please. These other channels, like I said, I'm not digging my way out of a hole out of Alaska or whatever. And I and I totally love those channels. I watch those channels. But my channel serves as a different purpose for your heart and your mind and your soul. You know, my, 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 like I said, I'm like an Aunt B or I'm like chicken soup for your soul kind of a person, you know? I love you guys. I want to talk to you later. Come on back. Have a great day. Bye.